Sukronism. I'm presenting uh, the case of study of Kriva Ligure, where we. Oh. Sorry? Where um, we tried um, to develop uh, a method to record with photogrammetry the strategy we were thinking. So, uh, the main goal of this presentation is to try to describe the method. We started with a traditional drawing method on paper and uh, widely used in Italy. And then we switched to a, com uh, a method only with photogrammetry. To, to try to, um, uh, to explain then uh, what we want to do in the future. Because um, just for now we are using uh, only 2D documentation to record this. Uh, and we would like to move uh, to only um, a full 3D uh, modeling for all the stratigraphy. So, uh, actually, I had also a lot of interesting tips from your presentations because uh, it's uh, only the beginning for me to develop this method. So. It will be very really interesting also to listen to the other presentations to have more tips. Uh, a little history of the research. The site was first discovered in the 19th century because they excavated and uh, built uh, the um, southern uh, road on the coast. And um, they, uh, they found the site on this side. Uh, <coughs> the first uh, real excavation, archaeological excavation, was made, was made by Nino Lamboglia in 1937 and it started with the baptistery. Uh, it digged only the baptistery mainly, not uh, more. In the 18th century then, uh, in the 18th years then, um, uh, they excavated also the wall area, but not with a stratigraphical method, actually. <laughs> And uh, this mm, gave us problem uh, in the interpretation of the data. Since the uh, 2009, the excavation is led by the PIAC, the Pontificial, Pontificial Institute of Christian Archaeology, and Neil Lamboyes Foundation. We use only an open air area method, and um, we are still digging uh, it. it. The excavation, the research is uh, always on the way. So, I'm sorry, I think it's not so visible. Um, so, uh, I will explain uh, the church. The church is the only example of a church with an internal narthex in all Liguria. Uh, the, mm, the data about uh, Christian Liguria are really fragmentary at the moment. S the internal narthex is here and uh, we have three naves. Uh, these three naves were used for funeral function, maybe at the very beginning of the, uh, of the, um, of the church, which was uh, constructed in uh, the 6th uh, century. Then it was in use as a rural chapel, which is here, just to the 5th uh, century and um, it was only a rural chapel uh, since the, uh, um, the 10th century when uh, the settlement moved from this area to Taja in the valley. So, at the beginning we used uh, squares and multilaterations. So, uh, we made uh, many, many uh, packs on the field and uh, we used uh, the multilateration uh, with three or four packs to try to uh, find the position of every stratigraphical unit. For the altitude we use a level, we had only one point on the sea level and then uh, we made all the calculation to, to find uh, the altitude for every stratigraphical unit and we also uh, had many sketches on notebooks. This was uh, just to 2011. Not an efficient method, uh, of course, because uh, the technique is really slow on the field. 
it takes a lot of time to to the excavation and we don't want this of course the the record was on paper so we had to scan every every plan and every section and uh, to vector uh, vectorize them after the field work we have spent in terms of times mm -hmm. and uh, every metal stack was, was really difficult to maintain they are over they were overall the area and uh, when we dig it uh, down then uh, of course, they moved and they were not, not trustable anymore. So, we tried to use photogrammetry and uh, this was uh, a really good idea for us because with uh, photo catching we, ca we could uh, um, record many stratigraphical units in the same time. It was really simple, for, uh, it requires only a photo camera, nothing else. The um, ground control points uh, uh, are easily to manage uh, instead of stacks uh, and uh, they are uh, they, they positioned on the walls actually. So we didn't touch them excavating. And uh, the rasters produced by this method were already georeferenced. So we, need, we didn't need to digitalize anymore the plans, for example. <coughs> The first process was based on uh, edges of PhotoScan, really good software. Um, many people here are already use it and uh, presented it. Uh, actually, we had uh, budget budgetary constraints, so we use a telescopic pole, gardening telescopic pole, with a Nikon Coolpix uh, attached on it. I it was a uh, really economic solution, but not optimal. And uh, then uh, we vectorize the stratigraphic units uh, in QGIS or AutoCAD uh, directly on the raster, on the raster on, of the orthophoto and the, the digital evaluation model. So what we wanted to improve, uh, actually, Agisoft PhotoScan is proprietary software. So we don't know exactly what they, they're <coughs> doing uh, during the elaboration. The, the, res the results are, are accurate, of course, but we would like to have uh, more flexibility on the process. For example, batching uh, the elaboration with uh, common languages. Uh, we would like also to build an uh, open multi-platform protocol, so to use it in Linux, Mac OS and Windows. And we would like to also improve uh, speed and flexibility of the process, because we, want, we would like to um, to have uh, results uh, also in other formats. So we tried uh, to the software called Micmac. The software is uh, developed by the IGN, Institut Géographique National uh, in France. And um, it's uh, released under a GPL compatible license. This software is used usually for UAV or close range photography and makes all from the, uh, from the tie points to the 3D uh, model and the orthophotos also. Uh, we switched to a carbon telescopic pole because uh, the guarding telescopic pole uh, was flexible and so we didn't know exactly how much height was uh, on the stratigraphical unit. We use also um, APS-C uh, Canon uh, EOS, EOS uh, 600D, better uh, resolution, of course, because uh, 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 the resolution, the final resolution of the photos wa uh, was actually improved. And um, in QGIS, uh, we used um, the RAM profile and point sampling tool to try to make uh, to try to make a static graphical unit. Uh, the altitude on the static units and every section on the field directly with orthophotos. We tried also to use QGIS to 3G uh, uh, JS, but uh, we have problems now. I don't know exactly why. Is interpreting not uh, the, a good way our orthophotos. We just don't know why. So the pipeline, uh, as I said, the Micmac can do all the process. 
from internal ori orientation to external orientation without or with the georeferencing and uh, we can mask of course uh, photos and uh, models we can uh, uh, make sparse and dense cloud, orthophoto mosaics uh, and uh, also 3D models. Uh, they are not so good at the end because uh, uh, we don't use uh, the exact uh, uh, method to take photos uh, with uh, the telescopic pole. So we use also mesh lab for uh, texture and uh, 3D model. So, uh, we made also a comparison with Pix4D. Pix4D is a commercial proprietary software, really good, actually. And uh, we have seen that MicMac requires more over overlapping than Pix4D for a 3D model or an orthophoto. It requires also higher precision on ground control points because uh, um, we tried also with few contr uh, contr uh, ground control points to make orthophoto to, to make orthophotos, but Micmac many times failed on this. Uh, and uh, but when the set of photos and uh, ground control points were uh, good for Micmac, uh, the results uh, were comparable with Pix4D. Not for 3D. So when we take bird's eye uh, photos and we try to build a 3D model, Pix4D it's way longer better than Micmac. So in QGIS we try to visualize the 3D documentation with plan and sections. Uh, we overlap them over the photos to build the sequence and uh, we use uh, the terrain profile to uh, show sections. So this is, uh, it's not so visible, but <clears throat> this is, for example, uh, a section built with the terrain profile plugins. Uh, the, and uh, this is actually the first, the blue line, it's the first level at the beginning of the excavation and the red line is uh, the final level. This is uh, the last uh, product, the, uh, the plane we, uh, we are giving to the, to the Cultural Heritage Office in Liguria. And as you can see, the altitude is uh, mm, highlighted with uh, 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 some points, simply. So we tried also to make a comparison on the Sector M. Uh, this is the case study. Uh, the past, uh, this is uh, the one of the last sectors opened uh, at the north of the church. Uh, we had only two uh, photo sketching at the beginning, at, at the end of the campaign. And uh, with 16 gun control points and 138 photos, uh, we achieved a resolution of 2 mm per pixel. This is uh, a comparison, uh, and uh, in the last one we can see that uh, actually the results uh, are really similar, are the same. This is uh, also the result of uh, the vectorizing of, every, uh, of a stratigraphic unit. So we tried also to build a 3D model on the field and uh, we take 90 pictures with, uh, mm, with uh, the method required for MicMac. So one at the center, up, bottom, left, right. And uh, we tried also to achieve the maximum quality process possible. And uh, the final model was with uh, 70 billion of vertex and 7 billion of, uh, mm, of triangles at the end. And this is the last result. I'm sorry, it's not so visible. We also give the documentation to the Liguirian Cultural Energy Office. Uh, we make uh, uh, a list of every uh, plan and section in ODS format and PDF. For every stratigraphical unit uh, uh, plan, we gave a shape and a PDF, uh, and all the information will be, up will, uh, be uploaded to CGIT, the WebGIS system in Italy. We also, uh, we also build a wiki with all the information about uh, the process we used 
it's the only Italian wiki with this kind of information about uh, uh, open source application of photogrammetry, as far as I know. We want to publish it after a migration to DocuWiki because now it's in Zim and it's a local wiki. And we also uh, would like to expand and diffuse our open protocol to produce this kind of documentation. What we want to improve is uh, <coughs> we want to uh, start uh, the vectorization process over the orthophotos directly on the field, so with tablets and uh, uh, software like uh, QGIS directly on the field and not do after the excavation. We would like to, uh, to make uh, 3D sections uh, starting from uh, the 3D models of every stratigraphical unit and also, uh, mm, and also implement the standing matrix, uh, which, is, which gives uh, us the possibility to collect uh, all the information directly on the, on the graphical interface. And uh, see, uh, actually, uh, the open protocol is still in development. It's not, uh, it's not the end. We use uh, a, mixed, uh, a mix of 2D and 3D technology. Thank you for your attention.